Let me show you a really simple way for creating split screen here inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. I'll show you with two clips and then I'll show you how to do it with even three different clips. I have a brand new project here, so I have three different clips. I'll start with two. I'm gonna grab the first one, put it on the timeline, and the second clip you wanna put as another video track. So you wanna make sure they're on top of each other. Video one is here, video two is here. And I'll just trim it so they're the same length. So all I have to do is I have to go to the effects panel. So that's over here, effects, and I wanna search for crop. I wanna make sure the crop is set to video track two, and another one is to video track one. So I have two crop filters. So now I'm gonna select one of them, and up here, I'm gonna to go to effects control, so I could change my crop numbers. You see, this is crop. This one, I'm gonna just show you how to put something on the left side of the screen and how to do it on the right side. And on the next one, I'll show you how to split it more horizontal here. So all I have to do is on the left side, just type in the number 50, okay? That's on the video track one. And I'll select video track two, go to the same place here. And then this time, instead of left, I'm gonna type in the number 50 on the right side. Okay, so just like that, I have a split screen effect. Now, the only problem you may have is if your subject is in the center, the 50 is not gonna be the right number. So let me go back to video track number one just to show you what I mean by that. I put 50 here, but the total number has to match to 50. So for example, what I could do is I could put 20 here on the left side and I could put 30 on the right side. So it's gonna create a different kind of a crop and then I'll come up here under position and I'll move it over just like this, okay? So you could use that crop number any which way you want. So I could select the other video track, the same thing. Maybe if I don't wanna crop it this way, I'll put 30 here on the right side, 20 on the left side, and then I'll just go ahead and move that clip over this way, right? So that subject is where I want. Now, if you don't like how this blends in together, you could actually separate them a little bit more to create a little bit of black right here in between the two to create this type of split screen. Now, let me show you with three clips the horizontal option. So I'm gonna actually take the third clip, I'll put it over here as well. So you do the exact same thing, okay? So you're gonna go to the effects tab, you're gonna search for crop, you're gonna add it to every single clip. I removed it from clip one and two, so I'll need to reapply it again. So there we have three different crop filters. Now, if I select the top one, again, I could adjust the top this time, so I could adjust the top. And let's say I wanna just keep the bottom part, so you could see if I bring this down from the top, it's gonna to crop the top. If I go from the bottom, it's gonna crop the bottom. So I'll just go ahead and choose this option. I'll select video track two. I'll do the same thing. So I'll crop from the top. Okay, and it's gonna take me this way. And I could, if I want, crop from the bottom two. And then the third one, it's already revealing itself, but I, I could do the same thing. But the third one, I could again come from the bottom and you get the idea here. So now if I go to the beginning and press space bar, now I got three different video clips playing this way. Now I could select any one of them, move them around. If I wanna create that black bar in between, I'll select the top one here and bring it down, right? And I'll create that line in between, okay? I could make sure it's exactly the same. And I could always change the cropping again. It doesn't have to just go from one direction to get the part of the video that I want in there. And I'll show you one quick shortcut. If you don't want this line to be black, you could go ahead and take all your tracks and move them up. So your video track number one could be blank. And then if you go to File, New, you could actually create these color mats. So I'll create one, I'll press OK. And you could choose any color here. So just to show you an example here, I'll just choose kind of a yellowish color. I'll press OK, color mat, OK. And then if I go to my project library, there's the color mat. I could put it over here and stretch it out. OK, and you could see now that line is yellow instead of if it didn't exist, I'll turn it off, it will be black. And you could double click on it and make it any color you want at any time. So that's how easy it is to change that. And then I can make sure, again, my gap is exactly the same between those two different clips. 
and I just adjusted our cropping to make everybody fit in the middle and there's our split screen. I hope you found this quick video useful and I'll see you next time.